regarding the housing for the ability calculation I want to um, say something I think that formula is um, maybe flawed or um, too simple and um, there are several variables important variables being missing in the formula for example the interest rate the net assets and also um, income tax um, for example um, if we use the formula of median house price to divide it by median household income and what can be missing is that for people who need to pay mortgage and if you don't include interest then it can make the number looks like people nowadays have um, a lot more unaffordable um, houses well it may be true if it's a mortgage free situation but if you compare to say 30 years ago people might have also pay awful lots of mortgages because of the high interest rate can be several times the interest rate back then compared to now another thing is um, from um, accounting perspective it's also important to include equity on net asset um, for example someone have got exactly the same amount of median household income but have got very different net asset their housing aff affordability can be very different so for example if someone has got 1 million compared to one person have a thousand dollars at the same time with the same currency earning exactly the same income and buying the same price of house uh, well sorry house with the same price so in this case their affordability is very different and if we look at more extreme case for example someone with zero income that have got a um, billion dollars compared to someone with zero dollars of net asset but with a hundred thousand dollars income per year now which person has got higher home affordability so you start to see the flaw of such calculation and then um, I move to the next one and that's the um, income tax so we may know that during second world war the income tax might have been a lot higher than now so which means a much higher proportion of the income has been taken by the government compared to people nowadays so the income part of the formula now do you think that's a fair comparison if they are not 
use as um, after-tax income compared to pre-tax income and that's a very um, big difference in terms of the fairness of calculation um, in addition I also want to mention about the technological interruption um, or technological disruption um, for example Nowadays we have got um, 3D printing and robots and artificial intelligence which means human labors um, doing the same thing my um, in real term have been a lot more worthless so in this case in terms of the income formula um, oh, well that's something that uh, affect uh, the reliability of the formula and also how um, in the last 50 years different government might have created a lot of currency which can be uh, printing a lot of cash from central banks or reserve bank and so on um, so in this case, those money or well, um, those currency, those fund, may be easier to be stored in um, tangible assets such as uh, real estate um, than using as a way to hire people or buying up um, human labor so um, yeah those are the things um, need to be considered